Today we're going to cover, we're going to talk about how to help people, how to actually help someone who is behind you or who is at the startup line, right? Like the, the line that you already passed. How do you do that and, and why is it so important to do that? Welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're listening to me today. My name again is Eddie Sand and I will be your host for this show, The Fresh Start. And it's a fresh start because I always believe that we all have the opportunity every single day to f have a fresh start, to start again, to forget the past, let go of the past and come to the present and move forward into the purpose that you've been created for. And my whole purpose of this show is are to encourage you, to, to give you a little story of myself, my experiences, uh, maybe other people's experiences, and just to basically encourage you with those stories so that you can create a lifestyle of freedom and purpose. And I'll start with uh, telling you this, that Having a servant heart is, is the attitude that you need to have in order to, to be able to help somebody else. And you know it helps. It really helps in your life. It will help you every time. And, and I'm going to tell you in a moment a couple of stories, not only of myself, but of other people actually that it's very common. It's something very, uh, it's a big problem basically. And it's common on, on many people, especially entrepreneurs. I mean, we get into this a lot. Uh, we get into trouble with a lot, of, a, a lot in this area. But having a serving heart is what you need and understanding that you're here to help somebody else. And whether it's one person or hundreds of people, you know, it helps. It really helps you. So here's the problem with this, though, okay? We live, we li we live, <laughs> we live in a society right now that is connected online. I mean, here I am. You're watching me on your device or computer, okay? We're always connected. And we also have uh, a lot of people, many people, you know, the, the, almost the world is, is very selfish too, you know, uh, we, with, what's in it for us? That's the kind of attitude that I find a lot. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's, it's sad because my experiences, uh, my, my family brought up, like my mom uh, at, at our house growing up, uh, it, she was like always giving away things and she she actually always cooked for the almost like it seemed like the neighborhood <laughs> you know she always cooked a lot and she there was always food in our house that uh, her friends or neighbors or someone would come over and they will always have food and you know she she always had that heart she still does it's taking care of other people um, and I guess that's that's how it all started for me and, and myself uh, and my wife you know I love to give people well encouragement, but also I like to feed people too. Again, why I'm doing this video for you today is to, to give you a couple of uh, tips to, to actually get better, to start seeing the light in, in, the, in why be, having a serving heart and pushing people up uh, will help you. So it happened with, first of all with me, okay, um, every time, this has not failed for at least I don't know how many years, 20 years maybe, okay? If I look back at my life, it always happens. It always happens like this. Whenever I get stressed out, overwhelmed, or sometimes, many years already, I've gotten depressed, like at least, uh, what, like six, seven years ago or something like that. I can't remember right now the exact amount of time, but I fell into some good depression, you know? Like literally, it took a whole month for me to get out of it, to snap out of it. That never had happened to me before and it hasn't happened to me after, but, you know, it happened. But the times that I'm always uh, anxious, stressed, or if I was back then depressed, it was almost like someone will come into my path with their challenges, their problems. And because of my attitude to help, I would encourage them. I would I would find a way to make them feel better, which not realizing at that time, now me looking back, it helped me. It helped me. 
when I encouraged someone, it automatically encouraged me. As a matter of fact, what, two weeks ago, uh, I think, uh, right, two weeks? Yeah, two weeks ago. What did I tell you? I gave you that, I showed you that video that I didn't want to do these videos anymore, or, or at least I, I was thinking twice about doing them, okay? Like, should I do it or should I not? And what I told you, right? That something happened and all of a sudden I was encouraged and I'm like, yep, it's on. Let's keep going. Another year, okay? If you haven't watched that, go go watch the previous uh, uh, episode. But uh, but yeah, it always happens, okay? No matter what, there's always someone in my path that if I encourage them, it, it just helps me. Simultaneously, it helps me. So that's one reason why you should pay attention to see where you can help. Doesn't mean that you're going to be like me and be an encourager. Remember, there's, there's at least four different... Let me see. Uh, one, two, three. There's at least four different... Um, or five, I should say five, five different uh, talents or uh, spiritual gifts, basically, that you have. And one of them as an encourager, that's me. You know, we have the administrator, we have the love person, we, uh, the teacher, and uh, the servant. So, you know, there's different, different ones and the encourager. But whatever it is, the spiritual gift that you have, um, then the opportunity will come for you to use it. And do it. It's hard. You know, because whenever people will come and show up in my path and I was not having a good day or I wasn't feeling emotionally good to even deal with people, I was still, you know, it's like, I got to do it. Like, it was something still in me saying, I've got to help. So it's not going to feel comfortable. Right? It's not going to be like, ooh, who can I go help? i never done that. Like, I never, when I felt anxious, stressed out, or depressed, I never thought, Hmm, who can I go help now so that I can feel better? No, then I did that. It just happened. I saw the opportunity and it just came out of me. Okay, just that came out. So anyway, so that's one way to see why you want to have a servant heart and how you can push people up, right? People are always or also overwhelmed with information. And unfortunately... It could be the negative information, right? Like the news, the media, all that crazy stuff that's going on in the world. Uh, it could be also good information. As a matter of fact, that's why I say as entrepreneurs, I think we fall into this category uh, very often than, than not because good information, we can like dive in and accumulate all this information, but then we're like overwhelmed. <laughs> you know, we get overwhelmed too. It's like, what do I do? <laughs> so, so overwhelming with information is, is, is something that can stop you, can block you from focusing on who can you push up. And here is, the th here is how that works. So here I am, right? I, uh, I'm doing uh, like a master class coming up, uh, an event. I've done workshops, you know, and uh, I enjoy those moments because it, helps me stay focused on the persons in front of me and I give out of what I've learned to them and that's a great experience after an event man I'm always pumped up ready to go and take over the world so those are the moments that I'm able whatever I've learned it just comes out and, and I'm giving it to them because they want it they 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 ask for it and I give it to them but anyway that's a servant heart that's a servant attitude that um, that I think we should all have. So how is this going to transform your life and why do you need this? All right. Well, I just told you it helps to encourage yourself when you're in a down position, you know, downhill in your life when you reach out and help somebody. But at the same time, it also helps to position you as someone who, well, as a leader, you know, uh, uh, influential, okay? And that helps a lot, whether in life or in, in business, uh, in your family. It, it really helps a lot. My wife has helped me a lot on this. I have, I tell her, my wife, I tell my wife, give me, you know, tell me whatever I need to do better. And one of the things that I've noticed is that she's told me before, she's like, listen, they're, they're this young, you know, so their brain, they're not adults. So we can expect them to know what we know. And I'm like, what a concept. 
<laughs> because that's what we need to do in our lives, right? We need to understand that there's going to be people in our lives that, you know, they don't know what we know. But if we take the time to, to show them, if they're willing to learn and they're seeking, take the time to show them and push them up, right? Bring them along with us. And then maybe even do the extra, right? Go over that wall that they're in and, right? You know what I'm saying? Just push people up. Have a heart to push people up. And that's what I have for you, all right? It's, it's beneficial for your life. It, it, will, it, will give, uh, it will help you become an influential person in, uh, in your world. Uh, and it will also help you get out of your mess, out of your lows in life when you start thinking about pushing people up. So awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much again for listening. Have a great week. Have a productive week. Talk to you later. Peace. Subscribe, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff here. I appreciate that.